paper. It is indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the biggest huge show in the mother, Lindsay. Of course, it is Happy Women's Day. If you are a woman, just know that we love you. We appreciate you. There's so much that you do that goes unnoticed. But don't worry, on this day, we are bringing it back and we're saying you're absolutely amazing. And speaking of World Maths Day, joining us in the studio today, our representative from Numeric, we have Oswanel, who is a woman, it is the CEO, which is absolutely amazing. We also have Matt, who is the Business Development Officer, and we're going to speak about all things that have to do with mathematics today. Welcome to the show, and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. Yeah, no, thank you. First and foremost, I want to find out from you, Manila, what is the importance of celebrating World Mathematics Day? Um, well, just looking at the South African context, um, South Africa has a maths education crisis mm -hmm. um, where only 3% of learners who start school together mm -hmm. will matriculate with a maths mark that no. is 60% and above. 3%? Only less, it's actually less than 3% wow. that are um, matriculating with that mark. Mm -hmm. So clearly there's a problem. Mm -hmm. um, and at Numeric, we've identified that the wheels fall off quite early in mm. primary school. Yeah. So uh, that is why at Numeric we chose to focus on mathematics because yeah. we know that there's a lot of other stereotypes yeah. with mathematics where children feel like mathematics is difficult. Yes. Um, and yeah, and we also know that there's many doors that having a good understanding with mathematics will open for you in the future. Absolutely. So this is the, um, the subject we choose to focus on and mm. that is why it is important to celebrate uh, World Maths Day. And I think that's so important. I love how you speak about it like, okay, no, it's not just about you knowing math but understanding there's so many opportunities that are tied to math. And obviously if it is explained in a better way, I'm sure more people understand. Absolutely. But I know there are some people at home that are saying, Lua, I hear her, I know what she's saying, but <laughs> I don't think math is fun. I don't think math is good at all. What do you say to the people who are saying math is not fun, it's boring and it's very difficult? So, yeah, maths is sadly that subject where we all have that one experience where you do badly in a test yeah. or the teacher makes an example of you one day mm. and then you decide, I'm finished with maths, yeah. I'm never carrying on. We've all got that experience. I myself have that experience. Yeah. That's why I ended up being an English teacher before I w started working in maths. Mm. So, yeah, part of what we do and part of what makes it important is to show everyone that everyone can do maths. Mm. It's not that... I can't do maths mm. because this one thing happened. It's if you try, if you get shown the right way, if you get led by the hand, we all mm. learn differently, we all look at problems differently. Mm. And part of what we do at Numeric is to make sure that every different learning style that a learner has is accommodated for. Mm. And we show all our learners, you can do maths. Yeah. And our learners, they go from, ah, maths is my enemy, I hate maths yeah. in grade six. They come to us in grade seven. They spend a year with us in our after-school classes, and then by the end of the year, they're telling us, maths is my favorite subject, yeah. I'm going to carry on doing maths in high school, yeah. it's their best mark now, and it's mm. all because they were shown that it's not just that one way that you have to do maths, yeah. that there's different ways you can approach the problems, different ways you can learn, different mm. ways to even explain something to someone, yeah. and it's, yeah, just... And I think the way you're saying it right now is very important. But also what I want to find out is some people are saying, okay, I hear you, math is important, math is important. But I have never had to use X, Y squared outside of the math classroom. How is this applied in real life? Are there any instances where you say that is mathematics? What you see in a regular basis, okay, guys, that's math. It might not be X, Y squared, <coughs> but it definitely has math applied to it. Listen, math is everywhere yeah. <coughs> uh, on our everyday uh, life. Um, I made an example once of when kids are playing outside, mm -hmm. right? They sometimes play games with each other and they need to choose teams. Mm. When you need to choose the different people on your teammate mm. uh, who will be on your team, that's division, mm. basically, yeah. because you're dividing the different groups oh, okay. based on the, you know, the whatever sport or game you'll be playing. Yeah. So it is important that when we're in the classroom as well, we mm. make these connections, mm. right? So one of the things that we talk about in our classrooms as well um, is that uh, we want to bring their circumstances mm. into the classroom. Mm. Don't make examples based on things that the kids can't relate to, mm. right? Um, we talk about uh, lowest common multiple. We do word problems mm. where they are planning their own birthday party and they need to bring party packs in class. Yeah, and, and how they many have to party packs do they Exactly, need? how many how sweets in a party pack. You. So those are ways of making maths relatable to the learners yeah. um, so that they can see it apply in their everyday life. Oh, man. I love that you're making it onto their level because I think most importantly, kids don't want to feel dumb. I know I don't like feeling dumb as an adult. So the minute something
something makes me feel like I'm stupid, I'm like, actually, I hate it. I don't want to do it anymore. Give me something else where I feel like I'm strong in. And I think that's very important. And another question I have for you is how important is it for kids to understand that math, uh, there's so many careers in math. And can you speak me to, speak me, speak to me rather with some of the careers that come from math? So, yeah, no, it's, it's a difficult one because, I mean, you could go literally math teacher, uh -huh. math professor, and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> yeah. Or look, look at accountant, works with numbers all mm -hmm. day, various science degrees. Anywhere where you have to do problem solving, yeah. use logics, mm. anywhere where you use that applied sort of methodology of learning to do something step by step, right. going <laughs> through phrases, going through processes, mm. any of those pathways that math's created in your brain while yeah. you're learning that are all sort of you use later on in life in very various professions. There are very few professions that, where don't, need that math. don't need math. That's true. Mm. That is very true. Yes, and just add to on. add to that, mm. I mean, there's always this assumption that because it doesn't, at, at university, mm. they won't look for a high maths mark in this particular career line. Therefore, I don't need this true. mathematics. Yeah. But we specifically at Numeric are solving the problem at a primary school mathematics level mm. because that's um, the mathematics basics that are very uh, important. Yeah. Even beyond uh, uh, high school mm. when you go into the workplace that's where you need to be able to instinctively know different percentages right right yeah um i mean i was talking exactly <laughs> I, i've said oh time see now i'm using my math to also know that it's time is running out but before i let you guys go exactly. please let me know where i can find you on social media and websites i know some young people are watching and they're saying i need after school classes i need numeric where can we go um facebook you'll mm -hmm. find us um and uh numeric yeah. uh, we're also on linkedin mm -hmm. um you will also find our professional profiles on linkedin and we also have a page on linkedin thank you so much numeric thank for you. joining us and i mean it's so important for us to start finding math as a fun subject because it really does require for you in so many different industries right now though my words are jumping up i think i need to get into the mathematics of things and link within the next three seconds so my girl kizzy keys what you doing right there <laughs> the math conversation of course does continue on our social media pages we you're asking you who is your favorite maths teacher from school and if I think back it has to definitely be my high school teacher Miss Nygaard oh my goodness absolutely a phenomenal woman she just made everything so much easier she made everything so much more interesting for you to enjoy so if you do have a maths teacher that you'd like us to know on XA it is XA live across all social media pages but as I said the maths conversation does continue and of course we're also talking about International Women's Day so we'll take a quick break but we'll be back with more of us do not go anywhere